So the first one didn't go so well. Didn't go so well. <laughs> um, I think a lot of things happened. I was, I was treating it sort of like a 50 mile race and I just hoped I could hold on for the second 50 miles of it, which is a long ways to hold on. <laughs> um, so I went faster than my body was ready for. I didn't know what I was doing with like nutrition or anything. I um, also had never run in the nighttime. And so darkness came really quickly and suddenly it was like this new beast of, of a um, journey that I wasn't ready for. And I mean, I was like laying on the side of the trail, like <laughs> just kind of whimpering. <laughs> Neither of us really knew what we were doing, and I was super worried she was going to get injured. Um, he was kind of freaked out because this was all new to him. Like, he had just started running, basically, um, and this whole ultra world was new to both of us. And then I'm in this 100-mile race, and we're, like, pretty early in our dating. I'm like, will you come pace and crew me for this 100-mile race? You're going to have to explain. Like, I didn't know that was something people did. So he was with me, and I was like, I mean, like I said, whimpering on the side of the trail. And he's like trying everything in his power, but doesn't really know if this is normal or if I'm like actually dying or, and then decided to drop out of it, <laughs> which wasn't pretty. Um, maybe 55 or 60. Like, I didn't hold on very long after 50 miles. <laughs> No, I think it made me mad. Like, I didn't like that I dropped from something and quit something that I had started. Um, and so then I was, like, driving home on Sunday after that race weekend and, like, trying to sit with the fact that I had just quit um, got me, like, really fired up. And I was our, I Googled races that I was going to do the, the next year to help me get ready because I was doing a 100-mile race then. Um, and it wasn't going to be an option of quitting. 